This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another toy review and today something absolutely different. Uh, down spiral from Five Two Toys Beast Box. Um, loving the look of this thing. I have not had the chance to open it yet. Uh, but he goes from this, to, uh, you know, um, squid mode to cube. Uh, I don't own any of these. Uh, I've watched countless Deluxe Baldwin's uh, review and he does tons of those. Uh, they, they look really good. Uh, but what sold me is that they kind of look like the Reapers. Even the color scheme kind of looks like the Reaper from Mass Effect. And for some reason, I just needed to have it. And I've always wanted to try a 5-2 Toys. So this was a good opportunity. So there you go. Down Spiral uh, BB52. I'm going to take a look at that and uh, give you my uh, my impressions. But before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice tagging playlist, the main feature on my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Okay, out of the box. Uh, well, this is not part of the box. That's just something that came with it. There was pictures taken with that. I didn't realize it was going to be a separate package, but it's a little stand that you can assemble. So I'll show that. Um, and it's specifically like on the stand, it specifically shows a picture of Down Spiral. So pretty cool. Um, I don't own many stands, so this is going to be new to me. You have the box, which I've shown earlier, but really nice uh, artwork. Um, I guess it's uh, this is a cutout, uh, what it looks like uh, in uh, mechanical mode, like what's the interior, because I'm not seeing this. I'm colorblind, but I'm pretty sure I didn't see all this white. Uh, and then if you look at the product shot in the back, it's not there, so pretty cool. So you have like different uh, modes, uh, the cube, the, well, no, those are steps, like very, basic steps how to do it it's a real pain to put all the legs together i don't think i'll do a um, transformation on screen i don't know not not from robot to box that's for sure you, you have a nice uh, little diorama beast box i don't know if that comes with everything every uh, version of uh, like every toy sorry but it looks pretty good uh nothing in the back uh, well, i like this that's cool put it here and then he doesn't come like that in the box in the box he comes in like half box half squid um, as you can see kind of here but yeah it's uh but i i played with it to be able to put it in uh, um, in the box and it's a little tight but when you play with it, it comes off pretty nicely uh, nice box i mean i don't think i'll use it that much because that's my only 5-2 toy for now, but we'll see. But it's a good uh, gimmick to plug everything and, you know, have them sit on top of each other. I don't know, I like it. And in cube mode, he looks like a cube. But you can see all the different parts, uh, the legs, the mouth. Uh, it's honestly astonishing that this thing fits in a cube. You know what? I'll do the transformation on screen. Uh, but I like the colors on this guy. Gold here. Even the pin is gold. Or maybe it's just catching the gold and I'm colorblind. Hard to tell. But I really like it. They all seem gold. Maybe they're silver. And like I said, it's just the way I'm seeing it right now. And on camera, doesn't seem to be... Anyway, maybe it's just silver. So who knows? Uh, but that's even that screw looks gold. A uh, nice uh, translucent uh, plastic here, and it says dual turbo charger. So maybe it works with USB. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Sorry, you might hear some noise upstairs. Uh, my kid is uh, watching a movie, so he keeps talking. You know, 
because that's how you watch a movie. So to transform him, all right, fine, I'll do the transformation. Uh, first, it's not, it's easier to put it uh, in uh, robot mode or squid mode. Basically, you extend this, put it forward. You could lower all of these at the same time, but um, I just want to do one bar. And these two are plugged together. So basically, there's a plug here. You unplug this. The other one should follow if, because there's three pegs, right? There's one here, one here. Uh, two pegs, sorry. And then they all go in each other's hole like that. So that they're supposed to stick together when you fold them but it doesn't really work uh, it's quite finicky i don't think this one was pegged properly uh, in box mode so anyway so you lower these like that and then after that you want to take this put it on top like this then you want to pull the head forward twist this like that and then that's gonna show the uh, mouth of the squid right here. And then you can lower it. these two pins are gonna go into these two holes right here, like that. And then after that, uh, that's the kind of tricky, not tricky, but just stuff you don't see when he comes in, you know, like all the legs are twisted. So the legs go this way with the shield up and this angles downward so the black is all on the outside it's quite simple to move it from box to robot but the other way around not so much and there you go so you have all the legs and the legs are all double jointed there's a joint well not all but pretty much there's Two points of articulation i'll show you uh, the whole thing uh, of articulation afterwards and then after that what you want to do is pry this one out what i prefer to do is move this one down and then push here where the connection is happening it's it gives you less resistance there you go then you want to put these two together so you have uh, three pins, three holes, reverse on the other side. So you just clip them together. There you go. Then you want to bring all the top together, like this. And it gives you a nice uh, squiddly head. I'm not seeing eyes. So the, the eyes are here. Yeah, it's not a like a cartoon squid. This is more of a calamari, actually. I think. I'm not a you know water marine biologist or whatever so i don't know i like uh, when you clip it together it forms them out here so you have like of a teeth and then you have the eyes uh well either here or here it's kind of hard i'm guessing more here maybe they has two eyes it's weird but i like it and yeah like i said the reason i got this is it really reminded me of the reapers and he stands pretty good you just have to make sure that the weight is uh, proportionate on uh, the six legs and you shouldn't have shouldn't have any problem of course on camera it's giving me a heck of a time hold on um, this 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 there you go and there you go so that's one way to put it I've seen a lot of picture where uh, he's all flattened now, don't know much about squids and calamari, except that uh, when they're fried, they're tasty. Uh, but that's a popular image I've seen online. Or maybe he just stands better that way. That could be it too. Uh, articulations. Um, well, you have a rotation here, like a nice drill. Uh, very swivel. Uh, I like it. You have... Uh, well all the legs so the legs the, like the front legs are there's a pivot left to right like this and then there's an up and down a double up and down so you have um, a ball joint um, at the shoulder let's call it the shoulder but underneath here 
So you have that ball joint that's going to go up and down, but then you have another, uh, you know, tension joint like that. It's going to go up and down. So you get a lot of movement. You have, uh, of course, that's going to allow it to rotate this way. And then you have a rotation at the first knee. Like that. And then you have a rotation uh, like this underneath the knee and then you have a claw the claw retracts or bends like this and all six are on a very similar type of thing the only thing is when you transform it um, this one doesn't go as high like to form the box so you have to really place it properly um, it's really neat uh, colors love the colors uh, but I'm colorblind so I'm thinking this is like marine a very deep uh, marine blue but it could be black as well um, my eyes are deceiving me because there's so many colors gold here purple here purple here or mauve or violet or whatever it's kind of a turquoise caution so this is you know a vehicle for some maybe there's some fan fiction for uh, the beast box that I'm not aware of uh, but caution uh, you have uh, some faction symbol in the uh, the eye here looks uh, good translucent orange you have the gold painted all over it uh, some blue the de design here with some uh, well those are you know clip uh, uh, pins to clip everything together all golden looks really good uh, you have the black on the side and then you have the uh, uh, marine blue or purple uh, it's kind of hard to do these review when you're colorblind but you know i do my best now you have some turquoise here and then the uh, matching uh, blue or purple at the tip of the leg he is i have to say that the fact that this becomes a box like i've seen deluxe baldwin do it like a you know 100 times now and every time I'm like, there's no way this fits in a box. There's no way. And every time he proves me wrong. So I am again proven very wrong. And now let me open up uh, the stand. I just had a thought, do people that collect, you know, mint and seal box stuff, like maybe they would collect these and if it comes with the stand do they leave the stand in the box as well like is there a person somewhere with a stack of unopened stand i i wouldn't be surprised all right so let's push this back the stand they uh i have no clue how these things work uh all right where's the okay there's okay so it's all detachable Oh. oh, there you go. So I guess this is where... Okay, this is not detachable, so that's an arm. And it's the same thing for this one here, I'm guessing. Uh -huh. Yep, pieces. This unclips. Alright, there you go. Alright, well, there's some limited instructions. So let's uh, put it here. Ah... Uh okay so you can have like different uh place for bases uh that you can clip stuff in so i don't feel like this guy needs it but we'll see all right let me uh, put something together well um i really don't know what's the point of this um if i had known i would have saved three bucks but uh you you can like if you buy multiple of those you can build stuff um this unfolds kind of like a gun so i don't know if that's a thing um kind of like a, it's it's probably not a turret or anything it's just a different type of railing i'm not super creative uh with this thing um but you could do different patterns and but I mean, it doesn't help the figure stand at all. I mean, you could probably, you know, move it so that you have a, uh, a full background, uh, you know, like two layers like this. But that's the thing. I mean, it's not 
things don't line up super uh, smoothly. Like there's you know three two like here there's two pins and one hole, but it doesn't like it doesn't line up with this or barely. Now, okay, actually it does with this one, but there was another section that kind of looks similar, and I couldn't fit it. So I'm like, all right, so that's kind of useless. So, but anyway, the way that they show you is you can put this over here and it's like he's being held or repaired or whatever uh, but if you want my advice I got this guy from Aliexpress for $32 Canadian um, save yourself a couple bucks if you're not that much into stands which I really am not um, I don't own any other stands so anyway uh, let's uh, take those off and finish with the review I and this is a reshoot because I forgot to show you a couple things that came in the box the instructions uh, it's cool because they go from uh, squid to box and then on the other side you have box to squid so I think every transformer should come with these type of instructions uh, and one thing I'm super like it came in that little plastic one thing. I'm super Impressed not impressed. This is how you cross sell stuff. They give you a list of You know other franchise that they have like legacy of Lovecraft. I'm a big Lovecraft fan I'm gonna check that out and if there's good Lovecraft figures, I might just pick that up uh, there's hexanoid and Captain Commando and then Legacies of Lovecraft figures. Oh man, these look these look nice. Alright, might have a further a quick rabbit hole. Uh, then here you have Bees Drive things. Like they, they just you know show you what they have. Um, other Bees Drive you know a shark that turns into a plane and stuff like that this card like a six car combiner I like that so I think that's a good way to just cross sell your products and other these are all the other bees box you have they have a combiner and they have like the owl I've seen this on deluxe well, I've seen all of these on uh, deluxe Baldwin's uh, channel I think that's a very good way to cross sell and then here you have like the uh, turtle crossover uh, botcon exclusives a couple of the things you know I guess if you buy these two you can do the other one I don't know but that's I remember deluxe reviewing this I think so yeah I think it's really cool that they've included that and honestly it's been a while since I've seen any company do something like that and the last thing that they show you is well that they give you is uh, just a card Thick plastic, uh, thick cardboard, sorry, with a description in Mandarin or Japanese and and uh, English of who he is. And this is a weird way to do stats, but I guess it works. Uh, strength, courage, speech, defense, intelligence. So very smart guy because he's got a big brain. All right, so this was a reshoot because I had put everything away. So let's go back to whatever's left of their review. All right, in the end, I like this thing. It's uh, very stylized, uh, colored plastic, a little bit of paint. Uh, looks good, the translucent orange, the uh, the shape of it. Transformation is fine. You just need to get used to, you know, not making a car or a plane. Um, ton of posability possibility uh, the the legs are extremely posable and flexible uh, so that's a uh, a very big plus uh, I like this guy um, I wanted to try bees box and I'm absolutely satisfied with the uh, result don't know if I'll get more uh, because that costs money but uh, we'll see so thanks for watching guys I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell I'll also leave a comment I love reading those keep coming back I have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care